We do not yet have orders as to where that position will be. Thank you, gentlemen, and good night. What's your name? James, sir. James, I wish to have a word with you about something quite grave. Yes, sir? I wish to talk to you about... spying. Lafayette had me write a letter to Washington for him. He told His Excellency he's devilish afraid of General Cornwallis. He's just trying to get Washington to send help. Joubert's not afraid of anything. Who's that? James Armistead! James! James? Sir, General Cornwallis knows I am a spy. Then how is it, James, that you are still alive? I am a spy for General Cornwallis. Cornwallis thinks you are working for him? James, you are brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Cornwallis is expecting General Clinton to send some of the British fleet to the Chesapeake Bay with troops and supplies. But where will these ships take the British troops, mon ami? If Cornwallis knows, he is insane. And he's careful with his maps and papers. But I'll find out, sir. I swear I'll find out. You be careful, James. Now that Lord Cornwallis thinks you are spying for the British, you are in more danger than ever. It's only fair that I give you a chance to change your mind and never again return to the English camp. No one will think any less of you, my brave friend. I'll need some phony papers to give Cornwallis. You shall have them. But not quite yet. And now that we have finally received the orders containing our army's real destination, you, James, shall take these orders to Lafayette with a false destination to lead him astray. Tell him you took them for my pocket when I was drunk. Yes, sir. You shall have your freedom and more. You Negroes take care of me, and I shall take care of you. James, is tea ready? Another minute, sir. Then, Lieutenant, let us enjoy 60 seconds of fresh Virginia air. This slave could make defeating the rebels significantly easier. Ah, oh, it's lovely outside. Now, Lieutenant, we must use this particular spy very carefully. Don't you feel like taking some air, too? I'll watch things here. doing simply the best crumpets I've ever eaten <clears throat> I can only imagine the astonishment on my face I know you'd be rewarded but delicacy in front of this please don't say anything please I desperately wish I had demanded the recipe from the man but I was so surprised I simply didn't think of it I hope, Lieutenant, that our forces do not similarly squander such a splendid opportunity. Excellent. Cornwallis will move to near Yorktown here, where he'll wait for the British fleet to arrive in Chesapeake Bay. 
When his ships arrive, he will attack us. Washington must know of this immediately. James, how did you learn this? I was very nearly caught, General. I would have been put to death for treason if not for an African soldier fighting for the British. A man named Cato. Cato? Isn't that the name of Moses' brother? Yes, certainement! Cato! We must find out if it is Moses' brother. James, please don't put yourself at any more risk. But if it's possible to find out, it would mean so much to both of them. I owe the man at least that. General Rochambeau lied to me. Our French fleet is headed for Chesapeake Bay in Virginia, not for New York as Rochambeau promised. My plan to take New York is ruined, but this might provide us with the opportunity we've been waiting for. We know Cornwallis is at Chesapeake Bay, sir. Yes, General Knox, at Yorktown. Admiral de Grasse will have 29 warships and 3,000 troops. Here, our army and Rochambeau could march south and join Lafayette on the other side of Yorktown. Here, we would then be surrounding the British by land and by sea. So the army marches south, it could be the huge victory we've been hoping for. Yes, James, it would certainly lead to a great victory or a devastating defeat. Hmm. The risk would indeed be grave. What if the march to Virginia in the heat decimates our troops? What if the French ships never reach Chesapeake Bay and leave us without naval support? What if we arrive here and the British fleet evacuates Cornwallis' forces? And worst of all, what if Cornwallis leaves before we even arrive in Virginia? News of very great importance is on the way. In the meantime, my dear Marquis, it is of the most critical importance that, at all costs, you prevent Cornwallis from leaving Yorktown. How can we hold Lord Cornwallis in Yorktown with so few men? Sarah, please write back to His Excellency. I hope you will find we have taken the best precautions to lessen his lordship's chances of escape. Yes, sir. Is there any more, whatever this is? These plans you recovered were clearly intended for a large new rebel force on its way here. To reinforce Lafayette. Fine work, James. So we shall indeed remain here at Yorktown until our fleet arrives. I want you to gather my senior officers back here in 20 minutes. <clears throat> Cato, what? Do you have kin named Moses? Moses? My brother! James, what do you think about during your long walks between our camp and Yorktown? The petition of James. A slave belonging to William Armistead. That your petitioner, convinced of the just right which all mankind have to freedom, even though he was a slave, did during the ravages of Lord Cornwallis through the state of Virginia, enter into the service of the Marquis Lafayette, 
that he often, at the peril of his life, conveyed messages from the Marquis into the enemy lines of the most secret and important kind, the possession of which, if discovered on him, would have certainly endangered his life. That for this duty, he should be set free, and his master paid for the loss of a valuable workman. Yes. Freedom, Sarah. Freedom. <laughs>